So I've been coding for over a year now, and as I've progressed in this coding journey, the more I've realized how little the way you learn code matters. Rather than focusing on like the best way to code, you're better off putting that time and effort into how you are learning code. And more specifically, and what we will cover in this video is your ability to focus while coding. So let's compare two people, right? Let's call one Charlie and one uh, Apollo. Charlie doesn't care about focus and just tries his best to find the best method of learning. So he goes to reading books and he notices that doesn't work. And then he tries to watch videos. And after a couple of weeks, he noticed that doesn't work. And eventually he's in this constant cycle of very little improvement. On the other hand, Apollo, he prioritizes his focus on learning and he is able to see that massive growth that he is looking for because he focused on how he was learning he was able to see the massive growth in his results in code and i know you're a little confused on why like focus matters that much simply put coding requires a lot of focus when you're sitting at a computer trying to build something you're literally engineering something and to make something out of thin air requires a lot of focus, like reading, creating things, recording videos, like coding, all these things require your focus. And if you're not able to focus, then you are not able to get the results that you actually want. And you know what I see a lot of new coders doing what I did earlier on in my coding journey is that we try to focus so much on the secret methods and like these techniques that don't really yield us the best results. We're better off just putting our efforts into actually trying to focus, trying our best to put our efforts into how we are learning so that we can see that crazy results because we're able to focus while we're coding and we're able to do the right things. So you're probably saying right now, like Nazar, okay, you've told us that focus matters and we should forget about like caring that much about the method of learning. How do you actually focus? Well, there are four steps to focusing while coding. So the first and most important way is distraction free coding. If you want to be like Apollo and you want to see those results from your efforts, you have to limit your freaking distractions. I can't believe how many coders simply just show up to their computer, have their notifications on, which we'll get to in a bit, and they start coding for like, let's say 10 minutes, and then they go talk to someone. And then they come back in 30 minutes and they code for another 20 minutes. You are holding yourself back significantly if you are doing this. Instead, what you want to do, and if you want to focus, is try your best to sit down for a specific amount of duration, maybe it's an hour, maybe it's two hours, and just sit there and code. By doing this, you're allowing yourself to focus at the task at hand, and you're allowing yourself to learn more, create more, and ingest the content that you are taking in. This is more of an underrated thing that, you know, I don't see a lot of people talk about, but code when you are most awake. You know, a lot of people will tell you code in the morning, code at night, but instead, just pick a block of time where you are most energetic and most importantly, most like aware of your surroundings. Now, typically that will be in the morning time because our brains are wired to be more focused in the morning. But if you're more prone to like focusing at night or you like to work at night, then by all means do it at night. And by blocking your time in that extra energy slot, you can do more work because you have more energy and you're able to get more work done. The next way to stay focused while coding is setting a timer. I like this because it kind of plays on the human brain. You know, when you had like a deadline for school or like you had homework that you had to get done, you finished that homework eventually because you had a deadline. We can kind of play on that in code where we set a timer of let's say one to two hours where we have to code or where we have to get something done. And by having this artificial timer, it's a real timer, but you know what I mean? We're able to get more work done and we're able to focus because we have to be laser focused if we wanna get that work done. And like getting the schoolwork done, once we have a timer, we're kind of forced to try harder, thus getting more focused. And out of all the things when I'm coaching people for programming, this is the one that really helps them a lot because it adds this sort of urgency to what they are doing. Now, the final way to stay focused while coding is to have direct goals during your session. And this is another really good thing when I'm coaching people. I tell them when you sit down to code, set exactly what you want to get done and pair this with the timer that you have of say one to two hours, your focus will be through the roof because you have an end goal of what you want to do. So for example, let's say you right now are learning how to write HTML. Maybe during your coding session where you have most your most amount of energy, set a one hour timer and tell yourself in this session, 
I'm gonna learn how to make a table while writing HTML. By having this, you'll have a sense of urgency and a sense of focus while coding because you can't bullshit yourself. And this is one of my favorite ways because you have a clear end goal of what you want. And by having that clear goal, you, you're kind of like direct and, and focused at the task at hand. So those are just four ways to stay focused. But again, focus on your focus no pun intended, but again, prioritize focus over stupid study techniques. It, it literally doesn't matter. Also, if you like this video, please subscribe. And if you want one-on-one -on -one coaching, you want advice, you want me to walk you through your specific coding problems, then I'll leave the coaching link in the description below. Happy coding, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.